So we're at the NCB FAA down in Fort Lauderdale. We are probably coming to the end of the first full long day. Uh, there is a big break. We're down here in the exhibition hall. And I'm standing here at the USDA's uh, booth. Aaron and I got to talk uh, before in, we met in Oklahoma City. Yes, yeah. Oklahoma City, yep. And boy, it was hot back then. It was like 108 degrees. and Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so sunny and very, there's nowhere to go. It was no. all sun. All that to say, Aaron and I had a great conversation. So we're going to go through and we're going to talk about some things. But first, Aaron, tell you uh, your first and last name, all that, and where you're based out of. Sure. My name is Aaron Otto. And I'm based out of, um, well, out of headquarters. I live in Maryland, and so I work out of the D.C. area. Okay, uh, all that to say, um, the last time we talked, all right, first off, let's look at a little bit of here sure. of what you're displaying here. Yeah, so we're trying to talk about the Lacey Act with folks, which is one of the oldest conservation laws in the United States. It comes from 1900, when originally it had to do with wildlife. It makes it illegal to import, export, transport or acquire anything that's been illegally harvested. Um, in 2008, as part of the Farm Bill, they added plants and plant products. So we're trying to pass out um, some coasters with our information on it to let people know that the Lacey Act um, not only helps stop illegal logging around the world, but um, oftentimes illegal logging um, is actually the third largest um, transnational crime just behind uh, counterfeit goods and illegal drugs. Oh my goodness. Okay. There are changes with the Lacey Act as they went through there are certain reporting requirements, different things have come in. With that, you were telling me that there's about to be an implementation of some major changes. Why don't you talk a little bit about that? So we are now at phase seven. So APHIS has been tasked with implementing the import declaration for Lacey. So on the import declaration, people have to give us the volume, the value, the scientific name, and the country of harvest for all the plant pieces in that product. Before we go any further, this is one of those that you're gonna to need to take note of that, play this back and rewind that so you know those data elements. So more data elements specific to what you're dealing with here on this. but. So previous um, phases have dealt with some of the no-brainer stuff like lumber and charcoal and some things that are, that are complete wood. Mm -hmm. But now we're kind of to the point where we're talking about toys and sporting goods and boats and furniture and all sorts of things that contain wood and rattan and wicker. Um, so we're estimating once it's published about 250 HTS codes in 26 chapters will now, uh, once implemented, require a Lacey Act declaration. Folks, there are some uh, key things on this. Definitely, I'd like to get a show with you and, and whomever else to talk and go into a lot more detail on that, because obviously at a conference, it's kind of hard to get just oh, a little yeah. bit here. But with this, I guess, let me ask this. Have you had, this is the Brokers Association, so obviously customs brokers are dealing with things, but there's also even freight forwarder industry type related issues. But have you had some good interaction with the brokers here and, and people asking questions or is it uh, they, they know it and they just keep passing by? Well, we, we've had excellent um, with the, the brokers and the forwarders. And, and over the last year, we've talked to all sorts of industry groups, including like the furniture industry. Um, we were at GTEC, yep. um, the, the International Wood Products Association, some of the uh, American Foresters Association, and some of the specific associations like the Outdoor Recreation Association and the toy manufacturers. Just to let them know this is coming, it's already the law, and now we're just asking you to show your work. Folks, as you're looking at this, if you're in import-export compliance, especially on the import side, uh, there's some key things here that Aaron is mentioning that you really need to get up to speed on. You need to become proficient in that. That means you're going to have to read, learn, find out, uh, and get involved. Uh, check out USDA.gov, I assume, right? Yeah, we have frequently asked questions for Phase 7. And then we also have provided a grant to the International Wood Packing Association. They already have Lacey Act training, so we've provided them with money to open up that training to everyone that's affected. Um, so that's free training through September 4th. Outstanding. With that, folks, uh, it's time we need to keep moving on, but uh, keep watching. 
keep sharing, keep uh, liking us and, and all of that. Talk about phase seven of the Lacey Act for uh, USDA. We're at the uh, Brokers Association meeting here down in Fort Lauderdale. This is Andy Shiles signing off.